Hi there, I'm Felicia with Compass Land USA, your resource for great deals on rural and vacant land. I'm going to share with you the first video in our land buying due diligence series where we're going to answer the question of who owns the property. Now before I do that, if you could please like and subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be the first to know when the next video in this series is published. If you have any questions on the content of this video, leave a comment below and I'll make sure I respond with your answer. Okay, so let's get started. There are multiple ways that you can check and see who owns a piece of land in the US. There are a couple of services like Agent Pro, Data Tree, and RealQuest. So these are all really great services. The only problem is they all cost money, usually in the form of a monthly subscription. And that's great if you're a land investor or if you have a career in real estate, but not so great if you don't. So what if you're just an average Joe who wants to buy a piece of property? If you are a Joe, don't worry, I've got you covered because the method that I'm gonna share with you in this video is free. So we're going to use an example property here in Costilla County, Colorado. Now I don't own this property. I don't know who owns it actually, but we are going to find out soon. It's important that you do this check of who owns the property right at the beginning of your due diligence process, because you could get caught in a scam or be trying to buy a piece of property from someone that doesn't actually own the title or the right to sell it. Um, and that person may not even know that they don't have the right to sell it, but you are gonna check and you will know and find out. So if you want to make sure that you buy your next property correctly, meaning you buy it from the current owner who has the right to sell it and transfer title cleanly, you need to check and see who the current owner is. You will need two things to do this check and find out who owns the piece of property. First, you're gonna need to know the county. Now, our example property is gonna be in Costilla. You're also gonna need to know the parcel number, sometimes referred to as an APN. Okay. If you found a piece of property online from a land buying site like uh, Lands, one of the land networks, Craigslist, or even Facebook Marketplace, you can get the parcel number directly from the listing description. If it's not in there, just ask the seller for it and they will be able to provide it for you. Side note, if the seller does not have the parcel number and cannot get it for you, that's a huge red flag. Okay, so it increases the likelihood of them not having clear title to the property if they cannot give you the parcel number. So now we're going to need to find the assessor's page for the county and see if they have an online property search. So I'm gonna jump over to Google and type in Costilla County Parcel Search. Okay, so it's top link right here. Now every county page will be different. You to look for keywords like online parcel search or assessor parcel search. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna click on this link and I accept the disclaimer and I'm gonna punch in the parcel number 7027360 and hit search. Okay, so that's the parcel number we typed in and here's our result. This property is owned by a gentleman of the name Larry Zappanati. So a great benefit of Costilla County search is that you can actually click on these links to see the individuals involved in the transaction when they bought the property, um, even how much they paid for it. Not all counties are gonna have that information, but when they do, it's, it's a great thing to check out. If you're buying a piece of property 
in a county that does not have an online database, you can always call the assessor's office and give them the parcel number. They will be able to look up this ownership information for you. One thing to keep in mind about the assessor's office is that it can sometimes take a couple of weeks for them to update their online database. So if you're looking to buy a piece of property from someone and they can give you the parcel number, but the records don't match, ask them if they have a copy of their recorded deed and you can call the county's assessor's office or the clerk of records office and double check the deed that they gave you with whatever is in the county system even though what you see online might not match. So that is the very first step. The first question you need to ask before you move forward with any land purchase is who owns the property? And now you know how to do that completely for free. The next due diligence question that you need to ask is what are the property back taxes and debts owed? I'm going to go over that in part two of the video series. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like it, share it, tell a friend about it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be the next to know as soon as that video number two is published. By the end of this video series, you will have a comprehensive checklist of things that you need to check before you move forward with any land purchase. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll respond with your answer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.